How's it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm gonna teach you how to calibrate your laptop battery. And yes, I said laptop because this video is universal. So it'll work both for a Mac computer, like my MacBook Air for example, and also for your Windows PC. And the great thing about this process is that you don't need to download anything, it's super easy, you just need to follow a few steps. So battery calibration is super important because it will help your operating system system, so Mac OS or Windows, to get an accurate reading on the battery state of charge, so on the actual percentage of the battery. And this will help prevent and fix issues like, for example, unexpected shutdowns and battery drain. So enough of the talking, let's start, and as I said, it's just a few steps. And step number one is to actually get your cable, okay, your charger, and then plug it in to your laptop. Now make sure it's charging as you can see right here and then you're actually gonna charge your battery to 100%. Please keep in mind that this battery calibration process it's not supposed to be done all the time like every single time you charge your computer. No, no, no. I'm gonna tell you how often you should do it in a second, okay? So plug it in, charge it, make sure it's charged to 100%, so wait until it gets to 100% and then keep it charging for at least two more hours, okay? So not only reach 100%, but keep it plugged in and charging for two more hours. Now, past those two hours, you're gonna actually unplug it, okay? So unplug the charger and then use your computer normally. Use your laptop normally, to drain the battery. So keep using, keep working, studying, watching videos, no problem, until you drain the battery. When your battery is close to empty, is close to zero, make sure to save any work you're doing, any unsaved projects or anything. Just make sure to save it because of course, we're gonna need to drain the battery completely until the computer shuts down. Now. As soon as your computer turns off, shuts off because it has no battery, right? You're gonna wait on that state for five hours. So let's say my computer here has shut off. So I'm gonna do it like, uh, just to show you, right? So it's gonna drain completely off, as you can see right here, because I've been using it, I've drained the battery, it's off, the screen is black, it's dark, as you can see right here. So what we're gonna do at this point is wait five more hours with it shut off, okay? Just to make sure the operating system understands it has no battery, okay? So wait those five hours at least, okay? I do recommend that you do this overnight so you can leave your computer like that overnight, completely off, okay? And then after that, you're gonna actually plug in once again to the charger, okay? Plug it in, as you can see right here, and then wait for the battery to reach 100% once again and don't unplug it, okay? Make sure it's plugged all the way from zero to 100% uninterrupted, okay? And that's the process itself. So after you follow all these steps, you're done. That's the process, that's the calibration process of your laptop battery. And as you just saw, what we did was pretty much discharge the laptop battery from 100% to zero and then charge it from zero to 100%. We did those two full clean cycles, if you will, and this will help so much our operating system to get an accurate reading, as I said, on the battery state of charge. If you have any questions, come back, rewatch the video. I'll also leave the instructions down here in the description if you wanna see them in detail, but that's what you need to do. Okay, so once it reaches 100% once again, then you're done, your calibration process has finished, and you should do this process, you should calibrate your laptop battery once every month, so between every month, to every 45 days. That's how often you should do this process. Again, it's not supposed to be done every single time you charge your laptop, of course, just once a month or once every 45 days. And then you may be thinking right now, okay, but where does all of that come from? Where's the data? Where's the studies, articles? How did you come up with all of that? And guys, it's actually not me. It's actually I fixed it. 
So they have this web page just on battery calibration, as you can see right here, and they tell in further detail what is battery calibration, why it's so important, and uh, how often you should do it, every single thing that you need to know. And of course, I compiled all of this information and created this video for you. So of course, I'll have this link to this page in the description as well if you want to check it out i bet you know i fix it they are extremely well known reliable source website as you can see for over 20 years so you can definitely trust all of the information in this video and of course on this article and it also comes from not only i fix it but also from those other two articles extremely interesting extremely important from battery university which is a source i've also brought here on the channel many times in the past as well and you can see information on how to calibrate a smart battery so you can find a ton of stuff right here if you want to check it out oh and please keep in mind that battery calibration is not only for your computer for your laptop it's also for your phone as well so your smartphone your iphone your android phone and the process is actually different if you want to calibrate a smartphone battery or a tablet battery and I have another video here on the channel teaching you how you can do exactly that you can go ahead and take a look at this card or link in the description as well if you want to know how to calibrate your smartphone battery so that's it guys so make sure to calibrate your Mac or your Windows battery every 30 days or every 45 days as I said if you want to prevent and fix issues as I said like unexpected shutdowns and battery drain in a guarantee you'll have a much better battery in the long run on your laptop so that's pretty much it and I'll see you on the next video as usual guys bye bye